And we're back, guys. Tennis in a minute. I'm your host, Good Energy, and she is back. No, not Sarah Termal. Bianca Andresu. She's ranked 228th on the world tour, but she's here in France, and she wants a shot at the title. Taking on the world's ranked 43rd, Sarah Cerebus Termal. Now, this was a match I gave a prediction on. I said, by default, we have to roll with Termal, although I do think the first set will go over eight and a half. Bianca hasn't played. This is her first match of the year. In fact, last year was such a horrible year full of injuries. She ended with a losing season, 15 and 16, only two and three on clay. She's not known as this great clay player or even grass for that matter, but she's been so dominant on hard, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. For every 16 matches on hard, she wins 12 of them. And let's go back to 2019 when she won that U.S. Open against Serena Williams. We were there. The tickets were astronomical, but we managed to get some. And that was history. Serena Williams had a chance to make history. But guys, this is how explosive Bianca is. Very rare do you see a person that has the athletic build, you know, backed up with the athletic ability. Normally, you get a, a thinner, a smaller person that's explosive. But when you have the build, you know, the upper body match with the lower body and you can outrun the shorter ladies on tour. She's a problem, guys. Bianca played amazing in this match for her first match of the year, taking on someone that's in form, playing well, a clay expert. This was just marvelous to watch, guys. That's right. She took the first set and the second set. Things got out of hand pretty darn quickly. And Bianca advances, guys. She gets the victory. She didn't serve that great. But this shows you how good she is because she only won 53% of her first serves. But she won 60 and 70% of Tarmel's first and second serves. 42 winners to seven now i said in the pre-match video i said if bianca was in shape she would destroy turmoil no disrespect to sarah she's an amazing clay player but 42 winners to seven that lets you know that bianca is pretty darn good ladies and gentlemen and again i go back to that 2019 us open where she prevented history and she beat serena if bianca never had the injuries or look she had to take a break due to the mental health situation but let's say that never happened how many slams would she have i say probably at least four with the ikas and the osakas yeah i think that's a fair statement she advances she's going to take on anna kylan's kaya she's never played her that's going to be a similar matchup to turmoil right a lot of top spin a lot of defensive shots bianca has the ability to overpower anna kylan's kaya we're just going to see if her stamina can keep up for another match the fact that she hasn't played in so long, she's going to fill it when she wakes up tomorrow. But if she comes into that match anywhere near 100%, the tour better watch out. Bianca advances. Tennis in a minute. We'll be back. Congratulations.